actually be in the room, fist bumping the man while he was thrashing his wife. No, guys. Th if he didn't wash his hands, that would be a massive crime right there. It's where you two, yes, say chat, kind of back another reaction, man. How do I turn this thing up? It wasn't loud. It wasn't loud, bro. Past videos, I be looking at it like, dang, why is it actually? It's it's like the the, the noise is suppressed for some reason. But hope y'all let me know, bro. I'll try to work on this shit if if it's really affecting the difference between y'all and shit. But you know what I'm saying. saying? Hope y'all staying blessed. Hope y'all staying iconic, man. Let's get into this reaction. It's been a couple of months since we last talked about a Mr. Adam 22. Last time we caught up with him, he was giving his wife away for the second time. Only this time, Adam would actually be in the room, fist bumping the man while he was thrashing his wife. No, guys. Th if he didn't wash his hands, that would be a massive crime right there, bro. That is second degree murder. There's no way he was in the room and he dabbed him up. I would. <laughs> I'm like, hey, good shit, good shit, good shit. Slap the fuck out, because listen, bro, that's not how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's his girl, but damn. There's no cra it's no way. If that is, he just said, looking at his dad, he's like, damn. This nigga really don't give a fuck. You feel me? This is not what MLK died for. As a matter of fact, he's probably looking down from heaven like, what the hell did I do? Can you ask me if I could hold your... And I asked you, yeah, and you were like, no. Like, That's all I need. And then, and then, but then you, like two minutes later, I was yeah, like, all right, Yeah, two minutes right, later, we were like, okay. And then all of a sudden, I was like, off camera. And I was like, okay, like everything's changed. <laughs> like the rules are just changing, like in fast forward really quick. Other than that, the only other recent thing I can think that we've talked about in regards to Adam is how he was bragging and going on and on about seeing Drake's piece. She showed me and the skin color matched up with the skin color that I would think that Drake's would actually be. And I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm sure you're wondering right now, Adam, was it big, was it small? No! I'm not wondering that. Bro, what is he talking about? If you're wondering that, you need help. It's no way! That was not, that, that thought did not cross my mind, Adam. Please. The man's got a missile on him. But now we have yet another piece of thought-provoking content coming from the No Jumper universe. Danny Mullen on the girl he's dating giving Adam a job. So I guess at this point Adam is tired of being the only cuck at the No Jumper studio. He wants to feel better about himself and so he wants to be cucking other guys. And of course the shameless Danny Mullen has no problem being the man getting cucked. I was on top of it, bro. T Street straight as hell. You know what I'm saying? You know, you just let people shit and then you look at your shit, you're like, nah. It's all good. I'll get, I'll get in Vaseline, but I'm too broke for that shit right now. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, damn. Shit. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, like. It's nothing I can do. I gotta get, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the five, five battles to get that shit. But nah, I, I don't even know what the video about no more, bro. I just, I just, I just heard him saying Adam bitch getting fucked. You had Holiday on Plug Talk. Who I like because her name sounds like both Holiday and Hollandaise sauce. You asked me when we were on the Plug Talk couch hmm. what it would take for me to double team a chick with you on camera. You're asking me how much we would be able to pay you if you were to actually fuck. I, I really don't know. I don't know like how much how many people are out there that want to see this kind of thing i mean maybe like we could afford to give you a couple thousand bucks but i don't know i mean i, feel, I almost feel like i would rather just pay swolby now i gotta be honest i've never really been the biggest fan of this guy or his dumb and dumber haircut who is that what well, damn why are you going on this haircut shit man i just go with it shit that ain't, that, that, that's not that's nothing to compare to the ball fade. You got a ball fade watching this video. I have nothing against you. I just, bro, as a man having that shit, man, you cannot be in middle school with that shit. They'll cheese make the fuck out you. You know what I'm saying? And if you going into middle school, you elementary school watching this, which I highly doubt that's gonna be the case. You better be prepared. 
put on a headband on them shit. That ain't gonna save you, but it's gonna do some. You feel me? It's gonna help you out a little bit. I really started it's to dislike bit. him when him and Adam went on their podcast they used to have called Sledge Lords, and they decided to platform this absolute clout chaser. This trans influencer who exposed, at the time, Adam's longtime friend, House Phone, a man who really helped build up the No Jumper brand when it was very small, and they essentially exposed House Phone during that podcast for sleeping with her. No, they talk more like this. Never mind. <laughs> now, come on, let's hear the impression. No, I was going to impersonate someone that I shouldn't have. Oh, come on. You've oh, already boy. sold out. That's a trans... Oh, I'm happy I ain't say nothing. Well, I wasn't thinking that. I was just like, I didn't. I didn't know because I heard the voice. But I remember him saying something about a trans, and I just heard the person's voice, and I was like, oh, shit. If that's a female, I have nothing against you. <laughs> I didn't. I'm tired of life here. <laughs> well, yeah, well. Did I look down upon to expose that somebody may have been with a trans person? If um, yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. I sign NDAs, and I take them very seriously. So just but letting everybody you didn't know get that. One I'm guessing. <laughs> he didn't see me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason Adam thought this would be an okay thing to do, apparently, was because he was going to make sure they censored House Phone's name. But throughout the podcast, it was beyond obvious who they were talking about. They kept mentioning it was someone close to the No Jumper brand, possibly on the staff. They kind of made a joke about this guy's entire life. And then at the end, they f***ed up by not censoring his name. Just by acting weird and shady. Acting like you didn't do some shit that you did do, and you know you did. I've been friends with him for like, and well, I just don't want to be like. The truth out, is the you know. truth. Well, no one is cares. But should I tell him? Should I give him a little warning? This is coming. It feels kind of weird to yeah, not maybe tell him. Yeah, your friend. Yeah, I, be like if, she totally spilled your beans. If you want to, um, I, I have. But a, tell you better tell. You also should. You better let him know. I pulled up security and I don't play. So. Yeah. Security's gonna have a turn with you too. Yeah, I, I can't imagine. <laughs> If he, gets, you hear that? if he gets prior warning, I can't imagine he's going to love that this is airing, but hey, he can has, we need ratings. He can now, even during that podcast, you can tell that Adam starts to feel guilty, and he knows there's going to be some sort of blowback from this podcast, and he knows his friends... I hate that feeling, bro. I'm with... Well, I'm not with you. I don't know what bro was thinking about in his head, but... Bro, I'm telling you, in this generation, it's so hard. It'll be some people that won't even mean it like that, but they'll just be saying it as jokes. Uh, nah, I don't even want to say that. Because if white dudes say nigga, it's going to go, it's going to, they're going to get canceled. They, they got to cut it out. And if it's a podcast, it's something different. You say it, that bit on it. That bit on there, you streaming it? Yeah, nah, say goodbye, you feel me? Shit, it, it'll be like one of them moments where Aiden was on stream, uh, not on stream, but then he said it, he said it, it was his birthday. I don't even get him past, but it was his birthday. I went to get exposed, but he still decided to put it out, even knowing that it was only going to get like 30 or 40,000 views. It's not about him. This is about me. I have a feeling that this will soon be about him. No. Oh, I'm going to be hearing a lot about this. And people, this well, was, this was sludge Tell him to take it up with me. I don't give a f I would like to say the same, but it seems like I'm worried about people calling me a bad friend for just not editing a this and putting friend. it out. I want them to have a lasting memory of the food they come to eat. We want to give the best service. And that's when both myself and I feel like kind of the general public started to look at Adam differently. Of course, that was around the time the entire No Jumper universe began to really fall apart. And while Adam has done a good Dang, what happened? This is, a, this is two different models. I didn't see this. Job of recovering from that entire situation, that huge nuclear fallout. No Jumper just really has not been the same since that golden era. And I think especially Adam's reputation has taken a massive hit. And so that's why I think he kind of said, F it, I'm going to go down with the ship. Gonna lean into the cuck arc and just try and basically cash out. Sorry for sidetracking y'all so much, but basically I'm trying to say, to me, this guy in Adam snaked house phone. I'm not a normal star. I know, and I feel like in a lot of ways you might be less valuable than no. a normal Dude, I put asses in seats. Dude. I put eyeballs on screen. I feel like they would pay premium prices, maybe up to $100 a head. Now, nah, bro, if you was to look up, I'm not doing it. But if you, if the viewer, what he said, 30,000 viewers was watching this. Out of them 30,000 viewers, 
I feel like it's going to be a good little sprinkle of people who actually looked it up to see if his content was that worthy. It's no way you should be promoting that type of stuff, bro. Ed, to watch you and I throat insert name here okay let's let's take you out of the equation and i don't let, like that so far but listen if you are a grown man paying any amount of money much less a hundred dollars to watch adam and his jim carrey looking friends some girl you do not deserve to be breathing pure oxygen as a matter of fact you're just kind of a waste of life and here's where the degeneracy really begins, I guess kind of the embarrassment of Danny Mullen, where Adam talks about how this girl that he's been seeing went a little crazy during their scene together, while Danny was off in the other room. I'm not really sure, I haven't really looked into it, but let's talk about uh, your girlfriend licking my pole. Just an insane f***ing sentence that I'm sure Adam could not wait to say. I Holly was already Day. close to walking out of here as it was. Holly but Day. you bring that shit up again, and that's disrespectful of a tone, dude. How, how many times have you listened to this? With Holly, a couple of times. Nice. That's a good number. Couple. So the guy is basically out here trying to change the subject. I don't think he wants this cuck narrative to be surrounding his name, especially when you're out here getting cucked by the head cuck himself. But Adam's not having any of that, and he's like, no, 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 let's steer the conversation back to your cucking, back to the embarrassment. Is this a cuck off right now? I don't know if he said that already, but dang. I'm just not getting familiar to the uh, definition, and that shouldn't be the case. I should not be getting that. Bro, I did not find out about the, 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 the cuck word until I heard about Adam 22. And I didn't even know about Adam 22 until I heard about the cuck stuff. I was like, damn. It was a video I was reacting to, and I was like, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 that is crazy. Watch your girl get... Nah. I really need to get this off. It's too late. So your girlfriend was on her knees giving me on that plug talk couch, and... I start to do... A I will little, throw this in your face I start right to now. do a little motion. I start it's about to, 80 degrees. I start to lift my leg, and she thinks... That I'm trying to get her to sit on top of me and my. Yeah, what were you actually trying to do? I'm not. I'm trying to get my flicked. I don't know if you forgot, but I. Oh, what am I watching? What am I watching, bro? Did he? Just, I don't even want to repeat what he just said, bro. Why is that thought replaying in my head, bro? Why did he give me that envisioning right now, bro? Why did he put that image in there? How many viewers is watching it? I don't even want to do that, bro. That's traumatizing. If I look at how many viewers is watching it, I know that everybody had that same little envision, that memory. And they like, hey, you just, you just created memories in front of, uh, you just created memories for the millions of people. Whenever they look at that little clip, they'll be like, what the fuck did I just, I wish I could just erase that from my head. This is one of those cases. Told you beforehand, that I was gonna go in the bathroom and it actually ended up on your Patreon, pause. But I, I took the baby wipes and I was- It's too late for pause. You, it's too late. Jamming the baby wipes halfway up because I was really trying to make sure that I had a, a nice clean area for her to tongue down. And she did, so yeah. that, was, that was very- This is the current state of no jumper, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, for this guy, Danny Mullen, it's like, dude, have some respect for yourself. Your girl was out here tongue-punching Adam's fart box, and you still kissed her the next day? I mean, this is just beyond degenerate, even for Mr. Adam Twain, too. Fuck, that shit is not... That is not... Bro. You got, you got no choice but to get your ones. You have to set up a boxing match or something. Hopefully, he'll probably be down. But he's literally elaborating that for you. Detail by detail. Bro, you have to scrap. Look at his face right here. He looked mad. He looked mad, bro. You know, you know he want to get his ones out, bro. Like, come on, bro. It, it hurt enough when you actually did it in person, but you bringing, up, bringing it up now is completely uncalled for and over the line. I also feel like I might have kissed her more. Oh, that's out of the line. That's out of the line. Adam, you should not have brought it up, even though he witnessed you do. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, bro? And I've ever kissed a girl that I did a scene with just because 
I don't know, the ass licking plus the fact that I knew you were in the other room. Trying to get in desperately. <laughs> you had to move the Coke machine to block the door. No, it was a fridge, but I jiggled the fridge <laughs> and moved the fridge right in front of the door so that you wouldn't be able to get in. Listen, dude, do you want to catch these fists outside? I just... So you're telling me this man was outside the door desperately trying to get in like the last scene in Ex Machina. While Adam is in there piping his girl, she's licking his... I'm not gonna lie, if they would have got like a visual of that, him banging on the door during the scene, that... That would have been... Oh, bro, that is so traumatizing, man. That might have somehow been more Adam, embarrassing okay. than what Adam has endured over the last calendar year. But I guess at least this is just like some random hoe he's dating. It's not like he went and married this woman. And even for the girls, it's like, yes, I know the residual money you get from doing his plug talk show towards your OF is probably really good. But even then, like, somehow have some respect for yourself. Jesus Christ. This, Do you want to get these bony the paws on your chin? I'm trying to help Holly win. I'm trying to make sure that Holly yeah, but blows her... up further through the castle. It's crazy that that works. I appreciate it. Thank you. Because there's going to be some trickle-down money if she's my new sugar mama. Mm. But you don't have to keep rubbing it in my face like she rubbed her face in your on friday it's a dick move bro dude just please have some respect for yourself oh my god it does not shock me at all that two dgens like this would be completely fine with exposing their co-worker their longtime friend and i don't think you should let the fact that she was tongue deep in my hole i don't think you should let that stop you from enjoying why do you keep saying this okay i get it you did it bro you did it he, he knows we all know but he keeps saying it over and over, bro, like... Her company. It's, yeah, so Adam does not want to be the only cuck in town. Did you have to paint that vulgar picture for us? You I could have for said... for the audience, yes. You could have just said... I mean, not only did he paint it, I'm sure that it's willingly out there if you want to go and check it out. I feel like you're turned on by her career. I feel like you belong in the cuck club with me and Destiny and Sneeko. <laughs> Told you guys. <laughs> Do you want to join? That's good company, man. I wouldn't hate that. <laughs> This has really just been the latest adventure with Adam22. I really just want to know, guys, at some point... Crazy. Okay. Oh, he can't even do that shit. I'll just sound dumb as hell. I wanted to erase something from my brain. I'd sound dumb as shit if I actually wanted to do that. Crazy. Oh y'all, let's say Niggas should love in the eyes of the kid that was lost and it turned to a rebel. Mama don't give up on me.